Hello, and welcome to a Thursday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It's currently 9.59 p.m. on Wednesday, April 7th in New York City, which means we have one minute till some Thursday crosswords. Before that, though, take a peek at the leaderboard where I just got crushed yesterday. Um, Chris was first in 13 seconds. Then we had KFS Venta, very, very fast. Uh, Stickers and Amy all under 20 seconds. So ahead of the Glorp, Herman Chow, PB Geckner. And then I'm somewhere in like ninth or something. Really uh, can't keep up with the youngsters. <laughs> we got Panda Gucci, also very fast. Gordo AM, uh, Orioana, Phil, Emerina, J Wu to Nomad, Panda Doggy, M Heath, Bill Boris, E Errol, Joy, and Lil Sun, all at one minute or under. It's a hugely f- fast crowd. Then we got Ball Don't Lie, Philly Fom, Sia Sophia, J Lydian. Shout out to Lydian, newest on my alternate leaderboard and ABC 104. And not only did uh, Amy and Chris beat me on the mini, they also beat me, they beat my Wednesday PB on the daily. So I put out a video earlier today of me just trying to set a Wednesday PB. So I did set some new PBs. Uh, My Wednesday PB is now 252. That was a pretty easy puzzle. Uh, Like I said, there's a video of it on the channel. I also set a Tuesday PB, but it, it's actually still not faster than my my Wednesday PB. And I also set a, uh, a Monday PB, all on this uh, early February 2019. Um, so yeah, thanks for throwing down the gauntlet, Amy. But now, hopefully, you have another thing to aim for on your daily puzzles. Anyway, it's now 7 o'clock, or 10 o'clock, rather. Which means that we should have some Thursday puzzles. So here's a spoiler alert for the Thursday mini. If you would like to play along, pause the video here and click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. All right, let's get into it. Oh gosh. Uh, Spins. Crow. Yes. Uh, A shoe. Meets. Train. No. Uh, uh, cream of the crop. Oh, okay. I thought this was gonna be Dream Team, but nope. Cream of the crop. A triply referenced clue here, or Phil. And they couldn't get rife either. <laughs> Entry level job, a shoe, and meats. Okay, interesting mini. Ross Perot. Haven't heard that name in a while. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not really the biggest fan of these, like, multi bill answers to multiple clues. But, you know, in a 5x5 mini format, you just need to break up your longer fills if you want them. So interesting. I doubt 26 seconds hold up. holds up, so let me know how you did in the comments down below. Now for the main event though, which is the Thursday Daily Grid, that is by Jake Halperin today. Here's a spoiler alert for the Thursday Grid. If you would like to play along, ooh, our server has the hiccups. Pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. We now do appear to have it, however. We got some grid spanners. 15 here. Oh, this one probably isn't a grid spanner. It looks like it's an 11. 11, 15. Okay, Thursdays are always kind of tough. Let's see what this one has in store for us. Let's get into it. Hidden addresses for short fashion accessories that shed. Boas? Boss of a bosun. I think that's a captain. Captain. Um, Air political parties. That could be SNL. Whoops. Hidden addresses. BCCs, minor performer, and sick legal on. Sue. Okay, who we are, Paige. Uh, city in the Rio Grande Valley with a historic namesake. Alamo? Springtime? Beginning of the Constitution? That's the preamble. Or We the People? Hmm. You Saved Me? And Flamenco Shout to Belay. Could be Alamo still. Hardball? Question mark. A snail can sleep for up to three years and others. Myths? Rapper with a hyphenated name? Is it Ice T, maybe? I don't like this YC here. Source of a purple puree. It's acai. Facts? Is that a fact? Category. And all there. Sane? 
fist and something. Oahu, shout out to uh, EA Yams. Wary boaters welcome sight. Prominent focus for navel gazer. Wins undeservedly over. A young pup. A pup is a young one. Hmm. A lot of possibilities there. Student blank. Flying monsters in Dungeons and Dragons. Probably rocks here. Let's go with facts. Uh, otter here. PowerPoint question mark. Cry on arriving for a boating trip. Blank queen. Yes, queen. Cut off. Dinos the Flintstone as Astro is to the Jetsons. Encouraging words. Bring down by Ku, e.g. Uh, title for the entitled, maybe. And deep pocketed. Rich. Upper atmosphere with the. Input. Big gobbler. Tom, maybe? This is Mav. A pup is a young one. Another thing here. Adam ruins everything's at air and input. Grab hold of. Maybe nab. Enjoy oneself festively. Big meanie. Ogre. Shout out to Liz. Is this Sever, maybe? Yeah, this could be something TV. True TV or something. Drink originally called Blanc Cassis. Uh, completely retired from boating. Victor wrote odes a ballads. Is it Hugo? I robot product is it Roomba? Feature stick delivery device is a drone. Um, have, having no application. Um, Potato Manil won her Oscar. When? Watery shade. Aqua. Mean spirited and deployed as a sailor. A sea. Uh, hey ya. Yeah. Nice. Is this ugly? Like an ugly comment that's some story tale barge haulers tugs at 10 i guess the customers right at times um second staff uh in many or orchestral score hmm don't know or content with airbags question mark boaters collectively look upon with disgust abhor maybe Galactic Conquerors of Film, Spoiling One's Attendance Records Say. Um, cutting? Take and Eat. Physis Nobel, it's Boar. Uh, Psalm Starter. Oh God or something? Tardy, I see. Uh, it's Oboes, I guess? <clears throat> Didn't know there was second staff. Galactic Conquerors and verbal equivalent to a nod to the head. Uh, inflation Fig. Minor performer question mark. Um, child something. Already read these. This is tier something seen. PowerPoint. Upper atmosphere. Paxel may allevi alleviate it. Is it OCD? Bring down by coup is depose. Bit of publicity. Uh, you got this? Maybe? Thanks, puzzle. Let's go with true TV here. Socket is a PowerPoint. Something Doc. You saved me, my hero. Um, let's go with Alamo. Emerald is a barrel. Is it Article One? Is that all it is? Is this any? Springtime. And who we are page. Oh, it's about us. So maybe it's Audi. Lent here. Um, appear on the scene. I see. Okay, so it's just um, puns here. Robs? Student debt. Wow. Glum. Um, hardest part of a date. The pit. Uh, what's up, Doc? Uh, the ether, I guess. Child actor here. Exact. Input. Language written is Hindi. Uh, is it enter here? Customer's rights. But a publicity. A pup is a young one. It's not pig. Uh, like idols. Adored. It's just dog. <laughs> Shout out to all the dogs. Enjoy oneself festively. Be merry. Blank club. Wikipedia e.g. Belly trouble. Is it ache? Yeah, that could be TSA. That sense of airbag. K demographic? Uh, site here? I see... P... S... I? Ah, uh, yeah, that kind of inflation. 
I guess this is Reek Kier, uh, Forevermore, uh, Promo, and Moot. And at 10? Okay, 616 Thursday is pretty quick. So the theme here is just reinterpreting or <laughs> homonyms of boat related terms in common saying. So appear on the scene except appear. What's up, doc? I don't know if you would ever say what's up to a doc. Forevermore. That's kind of nice. And K demographic. And I don't know what a, the the non-pun K demographic is. What is the K demographic? Maybe I'm... Is it Quay? <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, oh, is it Key? Did you pronounce that word Key? Because Key demographic does make sense. Oh, wow, you can pronounce it key, or K, or quay. Wow, I've been pronouncing this word wrong the whole my, the, my whole life then. Key demographic. That's kind of hard. <laughs> um, but I don't know if this is a Thursday puzzle. I feel like it's not a Thursday puzzle. It's just, uh, this felt like a Wednesday puzzle, maybe. Let me know what you thought. Um, Usually Thursdays have something a little bit trickier going on with the theme. This theme is... I would say not that exciting for a Thursday, to be honest. Um, it's okay. Forevermore is kind of cute. But would you ever say what's up to a doc? I don't think so. Maybe. Okay. It's an it's an it's an okay theme for a Thursday. Let's take a peek around. This was Alamo. Yeah, so some of the some of the cluing was kind of Thursday-ish. Hard ball, like you you ball up your fist. Again, shout out to EA Yams, my Hawaiian friend. I really want to see some Hawaiian pigeon on some of these puzzles, like Dekine or whatever. Uh, yes, mineralogy important. Acai is on so many puzzles these days. Prominent focus for a navel gazer. I don't know, this clue feels like it's trying a little too hard, maybe? We got otter and dog. Shout out to all my dog friends. So Momo, Calpico, Goomba, Nate, who is um, currently visiting Orioana and Rice Hornet. Yeah. Student debt. Yeah, rocks are these mythical flying creatures. I think I've Googled them before. Rocks, creatures? <laughs> Enormous legendary bird of prey. Yeah, it's a thing to know about. Yes, queen. This is not my favorite slangy affirmative, if I'm being honest, but it's okay for a puzzle. Title for the entitled. I see. So, like, having a title, like a knighthood or Earl or Baron or something. Didn't know about Adam Ruins Everything. But I don't own a TV at the moment. I also don't have Hulu. Host and investigative comedian Adam Conover embarks on a comically inventive yet unrelenting series quest to reveal... To reveal what? Oh my gosh. To re reveal the hidden truth behind everything you know and love. Okay, never heard of it, I'll be honest, but that's my fault. Ogre, shout out to Liz. Ogres are not all just big meanies. This is, at some point needs to be clued with, they have layers. Cure, yeah. What goes in a cure? A cure royale or whatever, right? Yeah. This is this has occurred on puzzles already this year. Black currant liquor topped up with white wine. It actually sounds pretty good. But I don't know if I've if I've ever been to a place where I saw a cure on the menu. Victor Hugo at ten, so presumably she was ten years old. So she won it in nineteen seventy three. Her 
Paper Moon. Never seen Paper Moon. I didn't realize that oboes were the second staff on many an orchestral score. How many staves are there? It's like the strings are all first. I don't know. Okay, I'll look it up later. Yeah, this is uh, this is definitely a Thursday kind of clue. Bags you take in the air. Have to go through TSA screening. Even this ugly, um, sort of more figuratively, like an ugly comment. Some more sailing stuff. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, so um. <laughs> More sailing stuff. I feel like this is really someone really loves sailing, and I know that person is not Lil Sun. A bosun is like a. This is short for a boat swin, a boat swain. A bosun, ship's officer in charge of equipment and the crew. So you need to know that, and then you need to shorten to cap'n. I would have clued this as crunch, e.g. Um, yes, Lent is in spring. Article one. Not the most pleasing thing. Robs. I am in the puzzle. Pluralized here. <laughs> yeah, hardest part of a date. Tricky, tricky. You got this is a nice fill. And a nice encouraging word from the puzzle. Refund. There's dog again. Roomba. Yeah, that's that's a nice fill. I didn't know about Rosa Club. Never seen from Russia with Love. Yeah, uh, it's all pretty pretty solid. Oh, inflation fake. Yeah, so I feel like the the theme is not very Thursdayish, but some of these clues are trying to be Thursdayish. Um, but yeah, I, th I thought this was pretty easy for a Thursday. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Let's just take a peek at the Thursday stats, which I haven't looked at today. Yeah, so my best is 5.30, 6.16 today, which means that was pretty fast. Um, see who's on the leaderboard at this early hour. We got Ball Don't Lie, Jay, Aero Tangos and Tartuna, happy wedding anniversary, and Philly Fom. Nice to see y'all here. Ball Don't Lie and Jay are my grad school friends. Love those guys. We need to hang out sometime after the pandemic is over. Uh, it's been too long. Anyway. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you tomorrow for some Friday puzzles.